Okay, moms, pull up a chair. This segment is for you. Kristen Hodson is back on the show. She's a licensed clinical social worker. She's from the Healing Group and talks to moms all the time that just aren't happy. Right. What's the reason they give, Kristen? There, you know, there's a lot of things that can factor into it. You can have new moms having a new baby and having to adjust to new motherhood, having multiple kids and being stressed out with all the day-to-day -day of life. Um, and then having unrealistic expectations that you hold to and you just can't meet day in and day out and you're like, ah, can't make oh, this. Oh, we all do that. Yeah. You want to be perfectly perfect and that's actually the first tip is this toxic perfectionism. Yeah. That we've actually talked about on Good Things. Yeah, I, I love that you guys did that segment back in May because I don't think we can hear it enough that we have this toxic perfection and that we don't allow ourselves to be good enough. In fact, when I was getting ready for this segment, I was all ready, I was dressed to the nines and then all of a sudden preparing food for my kids and I got spills all over and that's when I'm like it's good enough it'll work I it'll be you fine left it on you're like I did. I'm sorry like, this is, is me it is what it is and it's okay all right what about celebrating your rock star moments yeah you know I think that we all look at these celebrities and and really think that that's that that's what it is and our kids look to us as rock stars when we make that killer peanut butter and jelly sandwich when we take them and we're cheering on the sidelines those are our moments to embrace and sadly we don't soak those in we brush those aside and we hold on to those moments that the tabloids that they knock you down so we have our own tabloid moment where we're like ew i'm this i'm this and we're very critical instead of going i'm awesome no one ever says good job moms no. no one says that so say it yourself say it yourself have your moment soak it in let it be you got an a in math high five to me too <laughs> yeah high five all right let go and breathe just through your nose sometimes in and out yeah because we have as moms and women we have an unending list of to do's mm -hmm. it's never ending and we have it all perfectly planned out but what we don't factor in is all of the things that get in the way, such as life and little kids that you can't control. And so you have to constantly be pivoting and adjusting and making and letting go and breathing and going, okay, didn't get to that, no problem. Oh my, I'm going to breathe through that. My type A friends and list makers out there, you need to listen because sometimes you're not getting through your list. You're not. And, it, and it's okay. It is okay. And that there is always tomorrow for that, that you can just get to it. And, and that really being with your kids or taking care of yourself, that those things at times need to take priority. And you hear that, you hear like it doesn't matter that there are dirty dishes in the sink, but you see those and you go, mm, like the guilt, right. the guilt of the dirty dishes. Okay, the next one is, I love this saying, remember today is not forever. When you are having a particular tough time, and I hear this with even my mom friends where their child is really tantrum -y, and and you can have this mindset of, this is gonna be my life forever. And having the mantra of today is not forever. Gretchen Rubin of The Happiness Project, she has a fantastic quote that I love, that the days are long, but the years are short. And sometimes when you're in that moment where it's like, oh, this is never ending, look at a, a picture of your child when they're babies, and you'll go, oh, that has flown by. That's so, so true. So it's, it's oftentimes holding on to that internal mantra of today's not forever. I call it chapters. They're chapters, yeah. and sometimes you're in a tough part of the book. Yep, but that's there right. is going to be another chapter. It's hard to remember, especially when you just had a baby. Very hard to remember. You're not getting any sleep. Mm -hmm. You're out of your mind. My sister-in-law texted me yesterday, and I said, and I'd forgotten to text her and see how she's doing. So I texted right. her, and she has a four-week-old, and said, "How you?" She said, "I'm not getting any sleep. I'm yeah. exhausted. Two hours a night." Mm -hmm. And those are the moments when you, the happiness as a mom is also reaching out for help and saying, I'm not doing okay. I don't feel like myself and I haven't felt like myself for a really long time. I'm not sleeping. I'm angry above and beyond what I normally would be angry. I'm irritable. And so it's asking for help and then accepting help. A lot of times people will offer help and you're like, no, I'm good, I've got it. And so we get in our own way. Will you look in the camera and tell moms it's okay to say that you can't do it? <laughs> it is okay to it's not right. be able to do it all. You've had an awful day and you're frustrated and that's absolutely okay. Mm -hmm. We were talking about yelling at your kids earlier in that study that says don't do it. We've all had our moments. And we will all continue to have our moments forevermore. You never arrive. You constantly are just working at it. And so part of it is practicing the art of state of grace, of being good enough, of being okay. Why don't we reach out? as women because I think we want to seem like we can do it all mm -hmm. and that if we're doing it all and we if we are perfectly put together then we must be good when internally we're crumbling but we want everyone to think that we're doing okay and we validate ourselves somehow that way when we're really not good 
right. inside. What's the healing group all about? How can women contact you? The healing group is a women's mental health center um, where we focus on women's issues. We help women start to feel like themselves again, to find happiness, and to, to challenge some of those things that are getting in their way. And so people can find us by going to thehealinggroup.com it's simple as that, or they can call us at 801-305-3171. It's a support group, and sometimes you just need that. You need someone to pat you on the back, and Kristen will do that for you. Go to yes. abc4.com slash gtu for more information about the healing group, and we will put it all right there. At a rock store moment this morning, Glenn, like I made lunches, and we didn't forget them on the counter. Huge moment. High That's five. good. High five. Yeah, revel in the moment, <laughs> right? On my way.